Hey there internet, Michael B. Sog here. This is the second video in the series uh, about salvation or the basics of my belief. Today we'll answer the question, what is sin? Now, really the question isn't what is sin, it's the question is why didn't God create us in his direct presence? If you remember from the last video, I said that he created us here so that he can we can make the choice not to love him, to reject him. Now God created us in order to love us, yet we're not created in his direct presence. So why doesn't God create us in, let's say, heaven with him instead of here on earth? Why not begin our existence in the direct presence of God? Imagine that. You suddenly come into existence in the direct presence of life itself, a bright, warm, inviting light of love and awesomeness, and you're there, and you're infinitely happy, and you, you're loved, and you lack nothing. And maybe not immediately, but eventually, you decide, because you're free to do so, to look around and see what else is there other than life. When you turn your head away from life, what happens? In this direct presence of real life, the thing that is making you alive, the thing that is giving you existence, and you deliberately, and this is not metaphorical, you deliberately turn away from it, what would happen? you die forever there is no middle ground without the physical incarnation that is our current existence to choose anything other than or contrary to God or life is to choose sin and death in the same way that God is life sin is death choosing something other than life would be choosing death by extension choosing something other than God is choosing death and without the physical existence, our body and this world, in which we exist as something spiritual within something physical, this death would be complete and permanent. So this happened in the beginning when the Lord God said to Adam, Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in that day that you eat of it you shall surely die. Since Adam's physical life did not end when he ate that fruit, and since God does not lie, we must assume that God was talking as Jesus was in John 6:63 6, about the spirit. The moment Adam chose something other than or contrary to God, he died spiritually. He rejected life. Adam, mankind, turned away from God and therefore turned away from life. Sin is turning away from God in our heart. It's not so much what we are doing outwardly that matters, although some actions are probably impossible to perform while glorifying God in your heart. Jesus goes into this over and over again. It is your heart that matters. Now, here's the thing each of us must admit and accept. No matter what your life looks like on the outside, all of us have chosen ourselves over God at at least some point. Even our best attempts are weak and selfish or self-serving. Sin is why we cannot be created in heaven in the direct presence of God. Our choice must exist in order for us to know God's love, but our choice to reject his love results in death. That death is sin, and sin is the problem. All right, stay right there for the next video where we'll be asking the question, is there a solution to sin? Be safe, and I'll see you soon.